So question number one. A newly married couple wanted to go to a genetic counselor before starting their family. They were advised by their doctor friend as there was history of beta thalassemia in the paternal family. The counselor explained them that how different mutations in the same genetic locus can cause similar or identical phenotype. About what concept is she trying to explain to the couple? Phenotypic heterogeneity, allelic heterogeneity, locus heterogeneity and non-allelic heterogeneity. So what are the, these terms and let us try to understand what these terms actually mean. So first is allelic heterogeneity. Different mutations in the same genetic locus can cause identical or similar phenotype, right? It, the typical example for that is different mutations occurring in beta globin locus can produce beta thalassemia. And this is the concept which this lady was talking about. So this is allelic heterogeneity. The second term that you need to understand is phenotypic heterogeneity. The name itself is saying the phenotype is heterogeneous. When more than one phenotype is caused by allelic mutation, for example, same gene mutation produces different types of phenotypes. The same FGFR2 gene mutation can cause Cruzan syndrome also. Similar uh, gene mutation, same gene mutation can produce Fever syndrome also. So that is called as phenotypic heterogeneity. That is the same, alle same allele is affected, but the phenotype being produced is different in different situations. And the third is locus or non-allelic heterogeneity. When similar disease phenotype, now the phenotype is alike, but the genes are different, right? When similar phenotype results from mutations at different genetic loci, for example, osteogenesis imperfecta, there are separate genes which are getting involved, but both of them are producing a common phenotype that is called as locus or non-allelic heterogeneity. So we have allelic heterogeneity, phenotypic heterogeneity and locus or non-allelic heterogeneity. This question answer is very clear to you. So answer to question number one is very clear. It is allelic heterogeneity which is being talked about.